Okay, this video is to answer the question, what are the best drills I can do to improve my hand-eye coordination? It's really not about the drill. The point is to use the drills to improve your rhythm, sense of timing, and feel or touch. The carryover to a specific sport and stuff like that, that can all be played with and manipulated, but how you do the drill is what matters. So you wanna work on softness, precision as you're doing the drill. So for example, let's say we're doing this simple drill where you bounce it and then you try to catch it as close to the ground as possible. You can bounce it and trace it down. You can bounce it and delay and then bend at the last second to get it. You can Bounce it and focus on being very soft on how you receive it. You can bounce it and punch the accent on the way down. And then you can put in different rules like bounce it and chase it. And then you can put in rules where you have to work on the precision of your bounce as well. So imagine putting in the rule where your feet are glued to the ground. You can't move your feet at all. So no matter where the ball goes, you have to adjust yourself. You try to put it so that it lands exactly where you want it to. You put it so that you have to reach a little bit. So basically the point is, if you're doing this to develop athleticism, it's different if you're just doing it for fun and you're just trying to practice different circus tricks. But if you're doing this to advance your athleticism and your athletic rhythm and timing and coordination, then the important thing is not just to see how complicated a, or difficult a circus trick you can do. You can take a very simple drill and work on refining the qualities like touch, rhythm, feel, sense of distance, sense of timing, sense of weight. You can use different size or weights of balls or different objects and work on developing the actual qualities of athleticism that you're trying to develop, your feel. It's the same thing with strength training. If you're an athlete, the point of strength training is not just to see how much weight you can lift because that's not what an athlete does in the field of play. The point of strength training as an athlete is to develop strength in a way that improves your athleticism, improves your responsiveness, improves your speed and efficiency on the field or on the court or whatever is your arena of play. So use your training as an opportunity to play and develop translatable qualities that you need as an athlete. Get out of the just work hard mindset and work sensibly and intelligently to develop the qualities that you need as an athlete to refine your efficiency because those are the things that matter as an athlete. It's not the strongest person, it's not the biggest person, Strength, size, those things only matter in the context of how efficient and skilled you are because when you're playing a game, all those things matter. It's not just about size. You're trying to improve the quality of your movement, the quality of even how you interact with the ground while you're doing the drills. So your, your footwork, don't just do a footwork drill for the sense of seeing how fast you can do it. Slow it down and see how efficient you could do it. See how smoothly and lightly notice the sensation of what part of your foot it, you're landing on. Do you have foot control when you land? Like how you interact with the ground matters. It's not just about brute force pushing into the ground. You got to think of it differently when you're an athlete. We work with athletes all over the world, all levels, all sports, to keep you durable and safe as you move. And within that, we're developing heightened sense of athleticism, heightened physical abilities. So more refined coordination that's gonna lead to more speed, more strength that gets developed in a way that's directly gonna apply to making you more athletic more suppleness and flexibility, not just for the sake of range of motion that, that you're not gonna use in an athletic way, but 
suppleness and flexibility that directly translates to how you need to move as an athlete. And it just continuously produces ongoing, sustainable growth for the athlete and the individual because it's a natural process. We're not ever working against the body. We're doing everything in a way that just keeps you continuously growing and continuously improving bit by bit. If you're a self-starter and you're a conscientious athlete who is dedicated to your own growth and development, then apply now, reach out, and we can discuss how we can best work together. Thank you.